This is my M70 NPAP Serbian AK variant. Um, I think I told a small fib last time I talked about this rifle. I said I was uh, not going to modify it, or I wasn't going to change anything on it. Um, and lo and behold, I did. And that's not to say I wasn't happy with the setup that I did have with the modified stock. But I came across this uh, Zukrov stock. I believe it's Zuk Zukov stock at a very, very good uh, price point. Uh, so good that uh, I couldn't pass it up. I was able to pick this up for $45. And I think that's a little less than half of what it's going for. So I couldn't pass that up. Um, it's a very comfortable stock. Uh, obviously adjustable. Uh, there's enough videos out there for folks to know what they're about. Uh, all the information that, that that's out there, I can contribute that uh, this stock is in fact a, a fantastic addition to to any AK. But um, with the price point I was able to pick this up at, I couldn't I couldn't uh, couldn't not do it. It would have been foolish of me not to have done it. So I have a new stock on here. I have a new piece of furniture that I that I added. Um, I actually removed the wood off of this uh, NPAP to put on my M90 uh, because I wanted the M90 to have the wood furniture and uh, that's a whole nother story of course yeah, I'm gonna have to send the M90 back uh, to either be repaired or replaced but I really like the the plastic uh, furniture on the NPAP I like the all black look so I'm not going to switch it out I'm actually going to keep the uh, the plastic furniture on there uh, Besides the plastic furniture and the the stock, nothing else has changed. Uh, I did try, and uh, to some extent, I had uh, limited success. I did manage to uh, fix my canted front sight. It, it was only off a couple degrees, and I was able to to you know look at a couple videos on uh, here on YouTube and and knock out the pins and make some adjustments. Uh, the only problem I really had was I wasn't able to make small enough adjustments accurately um, with the way that I had to, to, to hit the front sight post. I was getting either you know too much to the left or too much to the right. It was really difficult to dial it in. And I'm only off uh, a very little, very little. And I have a video to support how accurate I'm, I was able to tune in those iron sights in my TRS-25, and I'll, I'll throw that in here. MPAP. Zero. All right, here we go. Center mass. Center mass group. All right, now we're going to go with the TRS-25 and see where it puts us. We're going to go with headshots. So headshots TRS-25. So let's go down and take a look. So this is a 50 meter range. I just uh, 
uncanted my front sight post and my end pap a little. Not as much as I would have liked if, but the rifle's shooting well and I don't think I'm going to piss with it anymore. So, this is iron sights, 50 meters. Shooting a little high, I'll take that. Uh, looks like maybe a front sight post adjustment. I don't know if I'm going to make one. Might be where I'm holding it. And then this is the TRS-25 red dot, 50 meters. So I'll take that also. I'll take the little bit of high, a little bit of height. Um, may lower the front sight post. Lower the front sight post. Raise the point of impact, correct? So I want it to be a little high at 50. So I'm going to shoot and I'm going to raise or lower the front sight post. We'll do another three round group here. And then another three run group with the TRS-25. Um, I'm going to break away here for a minute. We're going to go inside, just do a quick look at the inside to see if anything's changed and we'll go from there. All right, <coughs> so uh, I have the, uh, the weapon taken apart and there are some areas that we, I've been keeping an eye on uh, that have been covered in previous videos. Uh, one of those areas is the rear of the bolt carrier here where I experienced my mushrooming. You can see there this has been well documented and spoke about quite a bit by numerous parties. Almost lost the bolt there. Um, but you know I don't think that I have had any more mushrooming. I, I had it marked from almost 10 months ago and it hasn't progressed any further. I've filed the mushroom, mushroomed edges down, so there is no more progression in the in the mushrooming of the metal. Uh, it's pretty much stabilized at this point. Uh, in addition to taking care of all these edges on here, I did also uh, file down uh, the spine of the uh, the hammer on the trigger also being that I think that's uh, pretty much been identified as the, the problem or the culprit here to, to leading to a lot of the, the mushrooming on this bolt carrier. Um, as I quickly look at the rest of the bolt carrier here, uh, I don't see, and I haven't seen anything else that really jumps out at me as something that might be an issue. Uh, the rear of the bolt carrier looks good. I'm not seeing any deformed parts or mushrooming there. Um, front end, everything's still smooth. All the metal looks good. There's really nothing there. Uh, it looks really solid. I mean, besides the mushrooming, I think that's all, you know, coming back to the Tapco trigger. But the rest of the bolt carrier looks very good. I don't see any any issues at all. Now for the bolt. The rear of the bolt looks great. Nothing to be seen there. Uh, let's clean some of this up. Take a look at this. See if there's anything that jumps out at us besides normal wear. Um, I'm really not seeing anything that's out of the norm. Just some normal wear marks. I don't see anything that's really looking like it shouldn't be there. Everything looks pretty, pretty solid. So besides the mushrooming rear of the bolt carrier, that's really all that's jumping out. Alright, let's move into the rifle itself. Take a look at the trunnions. I don't see. Anything in here that's jumping out as odd or shouldn't be there. Everything looks solid. Basic wear. Everything looks really good. 
good solid EK. Little wear right here. But I think it's just from assembly, this assembly. Nothing's really jumping out. If you can see there, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but uh, a lot smoother face on the air, or on the sorry on the hammer. I uh, I rounded that off just a little bit. Just took that little ridge off of there. Not too much. Uh, didn't move. Didn't remove too much material. Just that that really sharp crease that ran across there, and uh, perhaps that'll make enough difference to. To not a, to, uh, to fix that bolt carrier mushrooming, but uh, besides that, there's nothing else there. I hate to have gone on all along there and come off as lengthy, but there was uh, really nothing there that that's showing any odd wear. You can see the front of the uh, the bolt carrier here and the piston. There's nothing odd there either. So, anyways, looks good. So. Here we are, my Ron Kantz, pretty close to 2800 rounds, put quite a few through today, I've got some video that I'll put in to support that. So here we go, off safe, and TRS-25 to the head. to the head. All right, so I think she's pretty well dialed in. I don't think I'm going to make any more adjustments to my candid front sight post. I think I can I can live with what I've got. So this torso grouping is all iron sights. Uh, I moved it up. So with my last adjustment, that put the rounds roughly right here, which I'm happy with. I can deal with that at 100 meters. It's probably going to be somewhere in this area here, but that's fine. 200 meters, I'm still going to be in the kill zone on the torso. The TRS-25, on the other hand, is pretty damn solid. I think we're pretty well locked in there. Um, I'll have to shoot it at 100 meters, see what kind of group I get, but I'm going to be honest with you, I think even at 100 meters, I'm still going to be within this, this 10 or 15 point range. Pretty well center mass of the target. Absolutely no complaints there. So, in conclusion, uh, here at the 50 meter range with the NPAP, uh, shooting a Zukarov stock from Magpul, uh, switched out some furniture, got the Ultimac, got the TRS-25 red dot. Uh, yesterday did some work on the front sight post, uncanted it a little bit, but I gotta be honest, I need to make, I needed to make some some really small adjustments and it just maybe it was just beyond my skill set for right now or, or the type of tools that I have but I'm I'm happy with the way the iron sights are shooting right now honestly I uh, I don't think I'm gonna mess with those anymore but uh, ultimately the NPAP's doing fantastic I think I think we nipped the mushrooming in the butt there with the uh, with the the wolf spring here I'm sure that made a difference also but everything looks great all right it's a quick video. Thanks for watching. And uh, until we meet again.